so now let's see what are the tests of right of lien let's see some examples if right of lien exists in these examples first a sold goods to b for 1000 and b's agent obtains lawful possession of goods now we have already done this point wherein the buyer lawfully obtains the possession seller loses the right of lien but what is happening here is buyer is not getting the possession but buyers agent is getting the lawful possession but let me tell you you know buyer's agent getting the possession is equal to buyer getting the possession because he is his agent he is working on his behalf so if he gets the goods he will give it to the buyer because he is the agent of the buyer so in this case no right to lien exists okay let's see the second case a from chennai sold goods to b of kolkata he delivers the same to railways and sends receipt to b in kolkata does right to lien exist in this case no because a has sold goods to b and he has delivered the same to railways and he has also sent the railway receipt to b so b has got the document to title if he get the buyer gets the document to title no right to lien exists in this case next a of chennai sold goods to b of kolkata he delivers the same to railways and sends the railway receipt to his agent in kolkata now to his agent means a's agent here now if this would have been b's agent we would have said the document of title is with b's agent that means it is with b so no right to lien exists here but because this is a's agent document of title is still with a so we can say right to lien exists in this case because this is the agent of a documents have not yet gone to b or his agent last a sold 100 tons of rice to b b resold 70 tons to x b instructed a to deliver 70 tons to x b became insolvent now in this case 100 tons are sold by a to b out of which b has resold 70 tons to x and he has instructed a to deliver the 70 tons to x and a has accepted a has agreed so now b becomes insolvent so does a get a right of lien over rice in this case a right to lien exists only for 30 tons and right to lien does not exist for the remaining 70 because in this case there is an stopper by the conduct a is doing something you know he is delivering he has accepted to deliver the goods to x so for those tons of rice for 70 tons of rice he'll not have the right to lean over the goods he'll have to deliver them to x for the remaining 30 he can exercise the right to lean 